All right, what's happening, folks? John Lovell, Warrior Poet Society, and we are hanging out at SHOT Show 2019. So good to be back. This is our third time, our, uh, let's introduce you to the crews. This is Craig, one of our homeboys. Evan, my business partner, Warrior Poet. Good to meet you. Uh, we've got our security right here. This is my bouncer slash wife. Same. Let me see your warfare. Same. Babe. Yep. <laughs> Back off. Watch out. And then Katie's somewhere else. But anyway, we're having a good time at uh, SHOT Show. We're in the Fioki booth. Fioki's my homeboys. Uh, I shoot Fioki because it's awesome. doesn't cost too much. And uh, now it's already sounding like an ad. It's not an ad. I just like Fioki. And they've got a real cool booth. We're on the second story here. Not a lot of booths have two stories. So kind of pan around. Look at, look at our command position of SHOT Show in general. This is important to have a tactical aerial advantage here. Also, if there's a zombie outbreak, the zombies will probably fill the floor at the bottom. And here we are on the top. So we have good avenues of egress on either side, good aerial uh, tactical position. So it's good to be up at the top of the Fioki booth. Man, that joke went way long. <laughs> In my head, I'm like, that's gonna be that's gonna be a killer joke. And it wasn't, but if you smiled out there, no, you've got a bad sense of humor like this guy, I'm the dad joke guy. That's what Warrior Poet Society is. When we're not doing that, we're doing tactical training across the country, firearms, tactics, stuff, that's what we do. And I moonlight as a Z-list YouTuber. So uh, that's what keeps us busy. That's right, right? Z-list. No, but if you don't know who we are, uh, we do all kinds of stuff on YouTube, lots of free content. We're on Instagram and Facebook as well. It's just not quite our jam, but YouTube, find us there. And uh, so anyway, uh, what we're going to do now is just kind of walk through shot. It's all just kind of uncut, kind of so whatever whatever happens, happens. So uh, there we go. We got everyone? Yeah. Awesome. Early in the show, but it's the first day we had... All right, moving out. We're going this way. What's going on? As me and you. You too. Part of my favorite part about SHOT Show is just uh, meeting folks. So typically people will uh, end up interacting with us. I'm like, oh, did you see anything cool? And yeah, you see cool products, I guess. I mean, but really I'm not here for that. When I see something cool, that's a good win. But generally it's the relationships. You, you talk with vendors all year long and a lot of people, you just know them on the phone or via email, and then you end up getting to link up. It's, uh, it's kind of like a reunion of old friends, and then you meet some new people as well. And also, just interacting with folks that follow the YouTube channel and folks that have trained with us in the past, it ends up being a pretty cool thing. So uh, anyway, you never know who you're going to walk in, uh, run into on the floor. Or... So uh, anyway, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool thing. I'd mention this is my third year at SHOT Show. Uh, the first year coming through was a bit of a zoo where you're, yeah, I just did the classic amateur thing and there's certain ways that I think you should do SHOT Show. Now, if you're on salary and you work someplace, guess what? They're going to set your agenda. But if you have your druthers and you can set your own, what I prefer to do is keep my schedule pretty loose. Uh, the, my first year I had like meeting after meeting and I felt so hardcore and cool and efficient and I had an absolutely miserable time because I was being an idiot. It's just. I mean, uh, SHOT Show, I, I think the SHOT Show is so big, I read somewhere on something they put out that if you visited every single little booth over the course of the three days the show's going on, you'd only have time for 22 seconds at each booth. So the thing is massive. Uh, and anyway, I tried to visit at all the booths and have meetings, and it was just, man, just beat exhausted so that wasn't the good way to do it so the next year I kind of pendulum swinged over and I said all right I'm not doing that again no meetings and then you end up with some meetings and it was a good time so it's more fun for me to just kind of walk the floor uh, interact with folks yeah there's some cool stuff to see we're rolling up on Daniel Defense now I've been shooting Daniel Defense rifles for a long time I shoot a whole bunch of stuff but kind of my baby my sweetheart the one that I just that's the gun I'd grab. It's a Daniel Defense. And they also uh, do a lot to sponsor the show and whatnot. So real cool boost. I've heard they have a bolt action rifle. I haven't looked at it, so you guys are going to look at it with me. So here we go. 
Yeah. Is Jim around? Which one? Uh, Jim. Jim Ross. Ross. Former, yeah, Ross. Former, former Ranger. Yeah. He's up here. I'll grab him for you. Jim is Jim's my homeboy. Uh, he was a Ranger uh, Ranger from uh, I forget which Ranger battalion. It wasn't the good one. The best one. Uh, third bat. Okay. The best Ranger bat was clearly second Ranger battalion. No, I was first. That was second. Were you first. Ranger first? I was. 86, yeah. 89, 86 cool, and 90. Man. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice good to see you, brother. Cool, man. Well, Daniel Somebody Defense, good job me. hiring a bunch of Army Rangers. I was a former Ranger, so that's my alma mater. So me and Jim, and now I've got a new buddy. We got to hang out. Tandem bikes, matching tattoos. We're gonna do all that. So uh, as we wait for Jim, I say we just pick it up and start moving stuff around. Uh, Joe stole the gun. Sorry. I'll get it back in a minute. Uh, we got 11 M lock slots. We got four here. Joe Marler. Uh, what's what's Lane. your. Lane, what, come on over. What's the Daniel Defense rifle you have? Uh, yeah, I've got a few different options. Love the Mark 18. That one's a really cool one. Uh, like kind of one that's a little bit more sentimental to me, M4A1 mil spec plus, and I know it's the old school Picatinny rail, but I've been rocking it for a long time. Yeah, I've got the M lock love too, but uh, it's sentimental, Roger. So uh, anyway, real cool stuff. Lane, you want to say hello to uh, Shot Show? This is Lane. She does social media stuff. Hey. So this is for uh, Shot Show's uh, marketing. But we wanted to take a, a look at your uh, bolt action rifle. Okay. I think uh, Jim's going to come over and give us a look at that. You been well? Really great. How about you? Good. What's Daniel Defense got this year? So, Delta 5 is what we're mostly talking about. That's our brand new bolt action rifle. It's a first for us. As you know, we mostly make ARs and AR pistols. Uh, that's going to be available in 308 and 6534. We'll later, be releasing a 7mm auto version. So, we're really excited to show all of our customers, dealers, general consumers all about that new bolt action rifle. Yeah, cool. Very good. Cool. You want to take us through it, man? Right there? Yeah, I see him. He's probably in some guy from Clyde Armory. No spot. Well, if you want to show us uh, this rifle, we'd love to so, take a peek. Yeah, come on over. So this is 6.5 Creekmore. Okay. This has got a 24-inch uh, barrel. It's got a 1.8 twist. Obviously, it's got our cold hammer forge uh, barrel stainless steel process. Um, comes with the AI, AI HCS magazines. Uh, the uh, the Temini uh, Elite Hunter Trigger System comes out of the box three and a half uh, pounds. It's adjustable one and a half to four and a half pounds. Nice thing about our barrels is uh, this uh, uh, 24 inch barrel with a uh, one eight twist, uh, and the, uh, the, the the 20 inch barrel on the uh, uh, the 308 has got a one eight twist. You can interchange those without going through a gunsmith, which is nice. You just get pre turned fixed head space at 55 pounds. Um, so we brought the modularity of the AR platform, which something everybody's so familiar with, to the bolt action rifle to give the end user of the shooter so many different options. But pick the Timmy Rail with the uh, 20 m away, the M lock. I have to tell you that it doesn't come with the DD wave, right? Oh, come on, man. That's no fun, brother. I know. Ergonomically, it's nice. Uh, everything's proprietary for the most part. Uh, the uh, Timmy tr Trigger is a uh, Remington 700 uh, design, but uh, you've got a cheap riser that's adjustable up and down. Yeah. Uh, toe in and out. You've got a quarter inch, half inch spacers, so the, the bud. Um, the, the bolt itself is a uh, three lug bolt. You take it out uh, with a floating bolt head. Actually, I'm going to this down put that down. That's cool. And so it's a diamond light carbon uh, Seiko, which is very nice. Uh, you, if you're in stance, a shooter of blind, obviously you just wipe it down. You set it right back in uh, 60 degree throw. Uh, Obviously, our precision uh, manufacturer, our cold, uh, cold forge, hammer, hammer forge barrels, stand behind our guarantee. Yeah. Um, so, what uh, questions do you have? Um, nine and a half pounds, um, 308. Uh, right next to us is 8.9 pounds. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Accuracy is about 0 .47, 0 .49. We have one, uh, one person do a point two nine, which is sick. I heard about that. That's which amazing. Sick. That's I, fantastic. A friend of mine. Person, yeah. person, 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 personally could do it myself. But, um, we're, we're really excited to, uh, to get this, uh, this, this 
fire one into the industry. Awesome stuff. To launch it today, yes. Cool. I, I was able to look behind the, the curtain once. I took a uh, tour of your plant. Sure. Uh, the one in Black Creek. Yeah, absolutely. The uh, new anyway. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, incredible, incredible. So you wasn't process. at the old one then? No. Uh, but, uh, anyway, yeah, incredible stuff. I got to see your vault, which was just... It was kind of heavenly. It was pretty awesome. There, saw, so you saw the farms inside the vault? Yeah, I saw the vault. Nice. There was angelic voices. I mean, it was really out of body. It was pretty awesome. Very so, nice. Yeah, anyway. Thanks so much for taking yeah, us through, man. Right. Rangers lead the way. Yeah, you got it. You heard that somewhere, right? Somewhere around the six stanzas. <laughs> that's awesome. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, that's uh, a little glimpse at SHOT Show. Thanks for walking around with us. John Lovell, Warrior Poet Society. Here's my team looking looking hungry and so uh, I would bet food is uh, next so anyway guys train hard train smart that's what we say signing off see you next time